welcome dear students uh, for the fourth segment of uh, grade grade 11 uh, english literature class of st peter's college colombo for nigango branch okay we learned uh, many poems uh, during these uh, days and today we are going to learn another poem which is there for us in our uh, literature syllabus and uh, this is two's company we have discussed about uh, two's company and uh, we are going to speak further about two's company and uh, as i have told you we have to find details about uh, raymond wilson the right of uh, two's company two's company is a poem uh, uh, which is falling under the category of the theme of uh, humor so please uh, uh, have uh, you you need to know <coughs> sorry you need to know much details about uh, the writer uh, and uh, that's up to you and we straight away go to the poem and uh, uh, it's a two's company and we go line by line okay it's like this uh, two's company by Lehman Wilson the sad story of a man who didn't believe in ghosts so we are going to learn about a sad story of a man who did not believe in ghosts let's see they said the house was haunted but he laughed at them and said tut tut i've never heard such tittle tattle as ghosts that groan and chains that rattle and just to prove i am in the right please leave me here to spend the night so that is the first verse and you can see there are rhyming couplets rhyming couplets uh, the words like but tut tattle rattle right night they are rhyming couplets and they said they meet the <coughs> people who lived around this haunted house they said please don't buy this house this is haunted there is a ghost in it you will not be able to live in this house but the man said uh, he laughed at them and said tut tut the word tut, words tut tut uh, does not have any meaning but Raymond Wilson uses uh, those words uh, to produce humor and to keep to the rhyming pattern right he says uh, the man says uh, to those people who were around this haunted house he says I have never heard such tittle tattle tittle tattle has a meaning tittle tattle means absurd things foolish things right unbelievable things unbelievable stuff so he said i don't heard uh, such things as uh, ghost groan and the chains rattle so he these are the signs of uh, uh, the appearance of ghosts we have seen in vampire or ghost films uh, uh, as to how the producer is uh, creating the background for the uh, horror film so in those horror films uh, maybe the uh, moon or the dark appearance or this uh, owl's calling and uh, the chains rattling sound these are the signs of uh, the appearance or uh, the introduction of a ghost to the films so in the same way here he he says the man says i haven't heard and I don't believe in such things uh, as tittle tattle, as uh, as chains, as ghost that groan and chains that rattle. So, and just to prove, the man says, "I want to prove I am in the right that there are no such things as ghosts." So, let me stay in this house. I will stay in this house tonight and prove that there are no ghosts. Uh, that groan and uh, there cannot be a ghost who can frighten human beings so that is what he said so they left uh, just as dusk was falling with the hunchback moon and screech all scoring so this is the background of the poem here so what is the background uh, dusk was falling and the uh, hunchback moon in the sky you could see a hunchback moon or a crescent moon and it's a, a dark blue uh, sky and the light is like that 
and uh, screech owls are calling or the owls are screeching the sound of bats or the appearance of bats and the owls these are the signs that you can see in uh, ghost films so this is what Raymond Wilson says this is the setting or the background or the backdrop uh, for the story when the uh, sun was setting and the twilight is there and the dusk was falling and the screech owl is calling and there is crescent moon they left him to stay in this haunted house but what is that now after all the people left he hears some sound suddenly then he says what is that outside it seemed he looks outside as if chains rattled someone screamed he heard like chains rattling and someone was screaming sound screaming sound some something like when somebody is murdered or going to be killed right he 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 or she can be shouting in this way so screaming or shrieking uh, sound a sound uh, which comes in uh, shrill vociferation came then the man says to himself come come it's merely nerves he's certain the man is very certain that there are no such things such tittle tattle as ghosts right so he tries to confirm his, himself to be certain although he is little nervous right he is nervous he was feeling that there is something unusual here but still he did not believe uh, he did not believe uh, the words of the people so he wants to prove that he is right okay then come come it's uh, merely nerves uh, he is certain but just the same although he said it's only my nerves i am just frightened within myself but still what did he do what was his action his action was uh, just the same he's drawing the curtain he's closing the curtain so now uh, he can't see outside and the outsider uh, outsiders cannot see that he is inside so that is his first action after he hears the sounds that came from outside the stroke of 12 there's no clock now he stayed somehow managed to stay in this haunted house till 12 o'clock and at 12 o'clock he hears the sound of the clock 12 o'clock ringing sound but there was no clock to be seen in this haunted house so without a clock to be seen around or anywhere in this house how can you hear the sound so that is quite strange but this man heard that sound then he shuts the door and turns the lock so after he heard the sound of the clock ringing or the clock sound heard and after that his immediate action was to shut the door and he turns it lock he doesn't uh, close the door only but he locks it so that he feels that he is safer inside now the man who said that there are no such tittle tattle we find that he is little by little getting frightened for these uh, unusual sounds that he heard although there was nothing uh, to be seen around of course he knows the, that uh, he knows that no one's there he knows that no one's there but still he is uh, closing the door he's locking it but he tries to reaffirm himself that there is nothing uh, inside which can uh, frighten him right uh, of course he knows that there's uh, no one's there but no harm's done by taking care he is trying to justify his action he's, he says that it's okay to take precautions we know that uh, we all take precautions at certain occasions so at this occasion also we find that the man a man is justifying himself or justifying his action right so he says it's okay it's there is nothing wrong in uh, uh, drawing the curtains or locking the door right but he says no i'm not scared uh, someone's outside the silly joker 
Now, after doing all these, all these actions up to now, he feels or he hears that there is someone outside. What was his next action? His next action is uh, he may as well pick up the poker. Right? When he heard or when he felt that there is somebody outside, maybe a one who told, this is what he told. He thought maybe somebody who told him that there can be a ghost outside. Uh, he thought that, that maybe uh, he might have been frightened by this person. Maybe some outsider has come uh, to frighten him uh, or to crack a joke on him. So he thought that it's a joke outside, but still he uh, takes the poker. Poker is uh, something which is uh, it's uh, it's an iron rod which is used in houses during winter time or to uh, stir up the fire and uh, keep the warmth uh, inside houses. So that is an iron rod. So he's taking an iron rod because it's uh, safe. He can fight. He can assault and attack a person or somebody if uh, there is some threat for his life. So is taking another precaution or uh, he's doing this to save himself. Then next, uh, that noise again, he checks the doors, shutters the windows and makes a pause. Now that noise again, what is this that noise that the poet is referring to here? That noise uh, means uh, the chains rattling sound and the someone's uh, screaming sound which we were told by Raymond Wilson, the poet, at the beginning. He heard that sound again, right? Then he shutters the door, shutters the windows and makes a pause. He's stopping. After stopping, what did he do? Why did he make a pause? Right? He's making a pause to seek the safest place to hide. The man who said that he, he was uh, so much pretentious and he was bluffing, he said, there's no such things as a tittle tattle, right? They are all absurd things, right? We human beings are the only ones who lead in this world. There is no one who is uh, dominant or who will be more powerful than human beings. Now, what did he do? He was looking for the uh, safest place to hide and he creeps inside. While he is creeping also, he does not try to show that he is scared. He does not accept his uh, human weakness of uh, that he is engineering. What did he say? He tells uh, himself uh, that there is nothing uh, as ghosts. And finally, when he was creeping inside, something breathes uh, into his ears. He, heard, he hears a voice. A voice breathes softly. The voice says, How do you do? I am a ghost. Pray, who are you? How do you do? I am a ghost. Pray, who are you? So these were the words uh, heard on his uh, ears uh, softly while he was trying to creep into the safest place, that is uh, the cupboard. So that's the end of the poem and uh, what uh, the ghost finds here? Why does the ghost, uh, ghost utter these words? The ghost utters these words because uh, he also uh, a bit frightened because this man is, uh, uh, he, he seemed to be unscared of ghosts, of this ghost. Earlier, uh, the ghost uh, did all the actions uh, and the people who wanted to stay here, they ran away crying. But this man somehow managed to live uh, until this far. Oh, he was doing all these actions, but still uh, he was unscared. Right? He was scared, but still the ghost thought that he was uh, unscared like this. So that is the reason for the ghost to hide or uh, try to be inside the cupboard. When the man was uh, getting into the safest place, before the man, the ghost had entered that place. So that is the end of the poem and hope you enjoyed it and uh, let's meet one another one.
other day with another new poem. Until such time, may God bless you and have a nice time.